just beyond the gate, Grace's light landed on what could only be described as a bird man. It was ghostly pale, with black feathers lining its arms. Its legs were bent backwards and ended in hooked talons, but by far the most disturbing feature was its mouth, which resembled a beak if it was covered in flesh. Grace let out an audible gasp. When I saw the thing myself, I kind of froze. You think if you don't move, it might not see you. And that was the plan until the thing began to climb the fence. My mind switched from hiding to running, and I instantly went to the hole in the bottom of the fence. Then we ran to the bottom of the hill, where we were met with a path that followed what was formerly called Milne's Creek. When we got there, we each knew where we had to go. We had to run back up the hill and make a right toward the gift shop if we wanted to make our way back to the car.